Greetings, dear friends. My name is Peter Cole. Between 1637 and 1665, I worked as a bookseller and printer in London during the 17th century. My printing press was situated in Cornhill, near the Royal Exchange. Over the years, I have had the privilege of publishing numerous Reformed and Puritan works, including some of the divines of that famous assembly at Westminster. Today, I'm thrilled to discuss an exceptional piece titled Reformation and Desolation, penned by the esteemed Stephen Marshall. Marshall, a distinguished scholar and writer, was not only a member of the Westminster Assembly, but also a dedicated Presbyterian and a devoted Reformed minister of Christ's gospel. He always pressed godly reform in his preaching and teaching. Let me pose a question to you. Do you eagerly anticipate God's divine intervention in reforming the church? Do you genuinely hope for a biblical revival? How committed are you to initiating and sustaining such a reformation? Marshall, in addressing these crucial inquiries, refers to the reformation led by the godly King Josiah, as detailed in 2 Kings 23. He emphasizes that the essence of reformation lies in fervent and steadfast biblical sanctification, urging every follower of Christ to pursue personal holiness. That is where real reform is always found. King Josiah, motivated by the discovery of the long-lost book of the law and the teachings of holiness within, eradicated idolatry and false worship practices from the church. Marshall points out that despite the commendable reformation led by Josiah, the nation still faced God's wrath due to their past transgressions under Manasseh, transforming reformation into desolation. Reflect on this. Is it possible for such a transition to occur in your contemporary age? While many believe in the need for reformation, it's essential to realize that, in many respects, the reformation has already taken place. The accessibility of the Bible in your day, even in mundane places like department stores, is a testament to that. With the entire Bible and countless biblical resources available online, what does reformation signify for today's Christians? It's crucial to recognize the ongoing reformation and pray for continued spiritual awakening. Marshall's work is truly enlightening, and I believe it greatly exalts King Jesus. I'm pleased to share that Puritan Publications has adapted this masterwork into modern English, offering it in both ebook and print formats. You can obtain a copy from their website for your studies. It is indeed my prayer that each church generation witnesses a revival. For such a spiritual awakening to manifest, Christians should be ignited with a passionate zeal for God's glory. They ought to strive for adherence to his word in every aspect of life. May you exemplify this spirit and be blessed in your pursuit of a more virtuous reform, all for the glory of God. Amen.